What's up guys, Coach Matt and YougoProBaseball.com and I'm gonna tell you a little secret today about pitching, something you can use to be a more successful pitcher. And you see I'm here in the batter's box right now, but this is where I wanna talk about and explain what I'm gonna share with you today. And it all goes down to the simplest form of pitching, messing up the hitter's timing and balance. How do we mess up the hitter's timing? We throw fast pitches and we throw slow pitches. Fast balls, change ups. Fastballs, curveballs, fastballs, whatever else you throw that's an off-speed pitch. We mess up their timing by mixing up the speed of our pitches, right? How do we mess up their balance? We mess up their balance by throwing in and out, up and down, right? We can change their eye levels with up and down. Another thing you want to think about is how you can use perceived velocity to change the speed, to mess up their timing and add that in with actual velocity. Let me explain, that sounds kind of crazy and it may, may not make any sense right now, but let me explain. Perceived velocity is what the batter perceives that pitch, uh, how fast that batter perceives that pitch. Sometimes it's faster than it is, sometimes it's slower than it is. Let me give you an example of how you can use this to your benefit as a pitcher. Think about a train way up in the mountains, miles and miles away, okay? Imagine that train up in the mountains, miles away. How fast does that train look like it's going? Not very fast at all, right? It's just kind of creeping along in the mountains, right? But it's probably going pretty fast. Now take that same train and run it right here through the batter's box. Whew. The train's going the same speed. How fast does that train look like it's going? So fast, right? So that's perceived velocity. The distance of the object from the eyes is gonna give you a different perceived velocity than it is. So the further away the object, the train in the mountains, the slower it's gonna look. The closer to the eyes, the train right here, the faster it's gonna look. Now, as pitchers, we can use that. A fastball up and in is gonna look faster than a fastball low and away. Now, we take that a step further. What if we threw a fastball up and in and a changeup low and away? Now, we're not only changing the actual speed of the pitch because we threw a fastball and a changeup, but we're also changing the perceived velocity. Now we got the double whammy, okay? How hard is it for a hitter to, throw, to try to hit a good fastball up and in here? We messed up his timing, or not yet timing, but we're about to with the changeup, but we messed up his balance here because we're coming in. He's not gonna be comfortable. Now we throw a changeup low and away. We've got the actual speed difference. We've got the perceived speed difference, and we just messed up his balance the pitch before. That's how you can get batters out. That's how you can be a more successful pitcher, disrupt the batter's timing and balance, change speeds, fastballs, change-ups, fastballs, curveballs, pitch in, pitch out, pitch up, pitch down, change eye levels, use actual velocity and perceived, perceived velocity against that batter to get them out. That's pitching at its simplest, guys. Use that, think about it that way, and you're gonna be a lot more successful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the logo over here, then go check out some of these videos I got for you right here. Drop down in the comment section below and let me know if you've used this to get batters out. If you're gonna use it, what you're gonna use, how you like it, just leave me a comment down below. I wanna talk with you guys. I'll talk to you down there.